Mitsuri Kanroji or the Love Hashira from Demon Slayer Season 3. Let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. Start with our eyes. Real big eyes, right? <clears throat> so we go with this like big sort of curved line. Like that. And it's real spiky on the end. And then you curve it around again and so like real, real big eyelashes, right? Like this. You just want, you want to have it black inside. Right, and little sort of spikes that stick off. Like so. And then eyelashes, right? So like these big, crazy big eyelashes. Okay, so then bottom eyelid line comes around the bottom here. And then again, you want to thicken it up slightly and then add some eyelashes coming off it. Okay, iris and pupil, so like very, very big iris coming down here. And it's not like perfectly circle, it's kind of like a longer circle sticking down. Just from the top of her eye and then the pupil just here. Now her pupils are like colored dark green with some hatching lines it seems like inside so like this kind of stuff inside okay and then she has a beauty spot here and I think she's another one on the other side as well <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> right so she's frowning pretty heavily so her eyebrow This way and it goes fairly vertically up there and then across like so you kind of thicken it up down here right so it's like it's square and then it gets thinner as it goes back And then we've got like an eyelid line. And an eyelid line going down there. I think our eyebrows are black, so I'll colour them in. And then our other eye, so we go curve it around again. <coughs> Thicken it up. We'll add eyelashes, so like these kind of big. Eyelashes like so, and coming down there. Bottom eyelid line. Curving around, and then eyelashes coming off this as well. And we're just thickening up this line a little bit. Iris and pupil. So long enough, sort of. 
oval type eyes and then the pupil is sort of in the middle. Let me just add some hatching lines inside the eye. Again, frowning quite heavily, right? You got like a bit of a nose line there. And then her eyebrow comes down across here. And you want to thicken it up. Like so. And we have another eyelid line just here. Oh yeah, and her beauty sort of spots just, just there. So for her nose, can't see much. You can just do this curving line there, and then a nostril on the side, and then some hatching just on her nose like that. And then her mouth slightly open, right? So we can put small, right? So down, up. Down. It's kind of like you know a bird sort of flying. You know the, the easy way to draw birds flying in the sky like that. And then the bottom lip just kind of curves around then. And then in Demon Slayer we've got that triangular shadow underneath their chins. Underneath their bottom lip, sorry. And then her chin there. So then her jaw. up the side of her face like so <clears throat> and then this goes up to there and then we go around like that Start to hit these sort of spikes for her hairline. Up here somewhere. And then she has like a fringe that comes down across her head, right? And all this long hairline stuff, right? So. No easy way of kind of doing this. So we got like a fringe here, right? So it just comes down. Like so. And then we got like a spike that comes across her eyebrow here. And they're kind of flat. Sort of hair spikes, right? They're not like spiky or anything. This comes down here, and then the other one goes up around like so. Your hairline, I think that should be. Yeah, I think I made a mistake with your hairline actually. I think it should go this way more roundy. So I'll just erase that. Sorry, oops. It just makes her forehead a little bit smaller. Sorry about that, guys. We all make mistakes. There's no shame in it. So then this comes around this way. And then this comes down here. This way, this is like a single strand sort of one. Like that. 
and then another section here. Kind of steps down a few times like that. Steps down and back in. Right then, it's like so. And then sort of bumpy hair starts in this sort of bumpy hair area there. And then a fringe on this side. Right, and then this gradually becomes those ponytails that sort of hang down, right? But like the back of her head is here. Oops, out. Down like so. Some curved lines going this way. So, and then hair lines up here. Right, so then those long ponytails, right? So it's kind of like curving lines like this. these sort of loops right like that there's all texture on them of course but we've got like another section just here at the back and on the very last one there's like some hair floating like that way. Okay, and we'll do something similar over here. So <clears throat> comes down like so. Big loops. Like that and then you have to add texture lines all over to make it look like hair right and it's like braided sort of hair so <clears throat> say like in under here there's these lines that go this way and then we start to go like down here following the sort of curvature of her 
hair bun and it's kind of like overlapped right so these ones go this way and then we have some that go like curving that way <clears throat> that right so this direction and then this direction and you just kind of keep doing that Okay, so that's pretty much her hair. So now her body and her clothing down here. So, collar out this way. And then we go step down. Right, and then we go out here. And then it curves around her chest, going down that way, right? And then the other one. Down there, out, curve. Okay, so then we have a line that goes down the middle here, and then this curves around. This is like the shirt, or the white part of the uniform. And then there's a button here, and then the top of the collar. And we get another shirt line here. And another shirt line here. All right, and then a line for her chest just there. And then like her white kimono curving down that way. We've got like a pocket. Like that. And right, so then buttons coming down here. White kimono line going this way and then extra lines for her collar here like so and like faux lines and things here there's another curve line that way and then a button another line for her Clothing here, there, and on the third there. <clears throat> and so her shoulder sort of goes off that way out to her other arm, off the page. Like that. And then her other arm's holding her sword out here, but she's got this big flowing sort of kimono thing, right? So it just like flows down here. <clears throat> and a bit like sticking off this way. And then we just see her hand and her sword. So we just, it's far away, right? So it's just like a bump line for her sleeve, another one on top for the weight of her sleeve. And then her hand just bumps around here. One, two, three, four knuckles. Comes down to her thumb, which disappears just behind the blade there. Kind of like the odd knuckle line or something on top. So then for the sword, so she's the love Hashira. So we've got like all these love hearts that come around, right? So carving around here first and one two and then a third but this one goes behind the actual sword right so we just go down and finish these ones and then this one goes behind the blade as well and maybe it's just because I'm Irish but it kind of looks like a four leaf clover as well uh, stereotypical <laughs> so this the blade then comes out from here right and it is a curved blade right so you don't have to use a ruler 
It's just a slightly curved line going that way. Slightly curved line there. And then we have the black middle like that. And there seems to be like a circle or something coming around in here, right? And then there is like extra sort of love heart lines on the inside of all these. Right, and then the handle of the sword just goes in there and then comes out. Like so. <clears throat> And then she has more love hearts just coming down the handle. That's it. That's how to draw the Lofa Shira from Demon Slayer. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.